Hello, welcome here. I'm Florin and today I'm sitting in Ford Puma ST line 2021 because my usual Tesla Model 3 is in service. Yes, you got that. But uh, it's in service not because of a, a technical failure as such. Uh, actually, these days as the weather starts to get warmer and warmer, I'm more and more impressed how efficient is that car. Recently, we had a trip of uh, uh, 500 kilometers over two days, mainly driving on uh, uh, highways with speed limit of 100 kilometers an hour with some rain. Um, I could achieve uh, a consumption of about 14 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. So that's extremely efficient, but I will cover that on a, on a separate video. Tesla is in service because I had a very unpleasant uh, surprise uh, uh, one day to find that the passenger door had a dent in the middle. And um, I captured that on, um, on a video with a sentry mode uh, active on, uh, on Tesla. Uh, but again, I will make uh, uh, another video just for that uh, um, uh, instance. This video is about this specific car. Uh, because of two main reasons. One, one is a little bit emotional, I would say. It's uh, because this Ford Puma is actually made in Romania. And Romania is my home country. Um, I've been using this car for a few days now. And I got used a little bit with, uh, with uh, how, how is it built. Um, and I, I think it's a very good uh, build quality, but I will just walk you around the car uh, just for you to also know that or see that. The second reason, which is more, let's say, linked to the topics that you will find on this channel, is that this specific car is a mild hybrid electric vehicle or MAGV. Um, I notice these days this type of cars, they, they are quite popular. You see them with, uh, with many other uh, producers. And I was actually interested to see how, how does it actually work? How is it to drive it? Uh, and then also as a system, how, how is it? Uh, but what is a mild hybrid electric vehicle? Of course, it's an, uh, it's an electrical with an internal combustion engine, which is supported by a small uh, electric engine. Um, and to be honest, I was so surprised to find out in this car um, how it is actually made. You know, any internal combustion engine has a generator that it's, uh, it's used to charge the 12 volts battery. Well, in this specific cars, that specific generator, which now is a little bit oversized, uh, running on 48 volts, uh, it's also used as an electric engine. So the same system is connected through, through a belt to the engine. Um, and then, yeah, it, it helps a little bit uh, the car uh, when it needs a little bit of an additional torque. Uh, on this specific car, um, uh, the electric uh, engine gives about, uh, 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 I think it's 15 uh, uh, horsepower, uh, um, an addition of uh, 50 Newton meter in torque. Um, Okay, not much. The battery as such, the, the 48 volts battery, has a capacity of uh, 0.48 kilowatt hour. So, yeah, if this car could drive on, on pure electric, which it doesn't, as I mentioned, it will be about, what, 2-3 two, three, two, three kilometers. It will cover about 2-3 kilometers. So, not, not, not too much. But apparently it's helping with the efficiency, with the overall efficiency of the car. And um, yeah, Ford claims that uh, yeah, they reach about nine up to up to nine percent uh, uh, better efficiency in terms of consumption uh, with this car. Um, it has a very small engine, uh, one liter, uh, three cylinders, and then uh, the system as such, uh, um, let's say, has uh, 124 or 25 uh, brake horsepower, um, and um, 250 uh, newton meter torque. Yeah, under the hood, and um, not much to see, to be honest. Uh, yes, the motor, which is uh, one liter, as I mentioned earlier, three cylinders, and then uh, this uh, generator, which is uh, also used, uh, um, let's say, as an electric uh, motor, connected through a belt, so very classical uh, system. Um, yeah, you can see here, Craiova plant made in, uh, made in Romania. I had a similar car before with this uh, 
yeah, automatic uh, start and stop uh, uh, of the engine. And then you could hear how the motor starter uh, is actually starting the motor. But with this one, so I just stop right now. Uh, I press the clutch, uh, nothing really happens. And when I actually put it into gear, you hear that? It's 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 really smooth. So let's let's repeat it. I take it out of the gear. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's stopping now. And then press the clutch. The engine starts really smooth. Um, you don't feel any vibration or, or something like that. So pretty good. The shape of the car. It's a it's a it's a it's a compact SUV. Um, this specific model has 18 uh, inches wheels, some sort of a LED uh, uh, lights. Um, yeah, this black trim, yeah, like Tesla Model 3 2021. <laughs> uh, but I find it very spacious in the, in the back. Um, extremely spacious here, also uh, quite a lot of space in here. Um, so quite practical, I would say. Um, EcoBoost hybrid. Um, I would say not necessarily my, let's say, favorite shape of the car. Uh, neither the color, but this, let's say, gray as such seems to be a, a trend these days. Um, yeah, when you go inside, I would say the car it's it's fully loaded with a lot of, uh, let's say, good stuff. So let me walk you through a little bit. Um, the chairs, um, they seem to be uh, made out of uh, some sort of a, a leather uh, material with this uh, textile in the middle. Uh, very, very comfortable, uh, very good support here on the, on the side. Uh, it has uh, some small storage here, yeah, not too much. Um, then when we look at uh, yeah, this stitching, this red, uh, red stitching as such, uh, probably in line with uh, this uh, ST, let's say more sportive. Steering wheel, very, very nice with uh, all these controls here. Um, very nice and, and good grip in here. Um, here controls for the adaptive uh, cruise control. Uh, here uh, are the controls, of course, for the, for the infotainment. Um, then in here, um, let's say a full uh, LCD uh, instrument cluster. Um, yeah, this gouge here gives an indication when, uh, when you, let's say, consume or when you generate uh, uh, energy. Uh, this specific car also has uh, some sort of a lane assist. Um, yeah, the, the, the steering wheel uh, vibrates a little bit when, uh, when, uh, when you go uh, uh, outside of the lanes. It has some, uh, I think it's called lane um, uh, or let's say blind spot uh, assist here. Um, quite, uh, quite good. Uh, the infotainment, um, I didn't really explore it much, but it, it seems to have a, a, a CarPlay, Android Auto. There seems to be a way to connect it uh, to, to your mobile as well. So um, also quite good. And I also noticed, um, yeah, the car would, would probably do some automatic uh, updates via Wi-Fi. So very, very interesting. Then um, if we go here and then, uh, okay, um, uh, automatic uh, climate control with uh, heated steering wheels, uh, sorry, heated uh, uh, chairs, but also heated uh, steering wheel. And also something typically Ford, uh, this, uh, this kind of heated uh, uh, front window with uh, some sort of wires. It's, it's very good for, I would say, long distance drive you will not have the air condition always uh, uh, um, going through your face. Um, yeah, uh, over here it has some sort of a drive select mode, uh, but yeah, this car seems to also uh, be able to park uh, itself. Okay, I, I, I didn't try to be honest. Then um, it has a wireless uh, uh, phone charger here, 12 volts uh, outlet, uh, also a, a 5 volts uh, normal USB. There's also 12 volts uh, somewhere in the in the trunk I've seen. Um, overall, yeah, also black uh, black interior here, but uh, overall extremely extremely impressed with the quality. Very very good uh, good solid build. By the way, um, a fancy <laughs> sound system uh, as well. So um, yeah, I would say really impressed. Um, 
made in Romania, but very, very good. So, very good quality built car, made in Romania. Um, also very comfortable while uh, while driving uh, also because of uh, yeah it's an suv the driving position is a little bit uh, higher uh, please consider it if you are in this uh, uh, type of cars um, i also hope you find the, the information about uh, the mild uh, hybrid electric vehicles uh, useful uh, please comment below what do you think about this kind of systems how are they built uh, and let's say the benefits uh, of it um, until next uh, video uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, stay tuned bye